Holy s- <laughs> Oh my god Man Whoa Ow What's going on guys? I hope they're having a great day out there guys we're gonna bust out the tracks of sledge now it's still a beautiful day down here at the motocross track and uh just got done running the crate next cell and the outcast 8s crate next cell performing amazing the outcast 8s had an odd kind of easily breakage on the front a arm which didn't make much sense but whatever had some fun with those but now we're gonna bust out the sledge and hopefully this is my last car so hopefully it treats me okay but guys any guys that don't know about the sledge or new to the channel we are running the m2c racing chassis under here we're running the m2c racing motor mount i am running a hobby wing max 6 in here with the stock motor and uh it's been a great setup in here she runs great tons of power and i've uh, been really enjoying it we're also running the 3d rc front bumper on here along with the m2 c racing emulsion shock caps which suspension on this thing is just phenomenal and uh we're obviously running d boots 4s backflip lps and now uh, guys we're gonna take this thing out give her a nice rip today and have some fun we're also running the basher queen front and rear shock towers on here those shock towers are carbon fiber have been holding up phenomenal haven't had any issues with those so those have been holding up great but um we're gonna take this thing out give her a little rip guys and uh, any guys have never seen my little body modification for the sledge normal snap done and then i put basically a bolt type thing up through here with a cotter pin that slides in and that body will not pop off on you any way shape or form now but anyway enough yakking let's get out there give the sledge a rip all right guys hopefully the sledge treats me pretty good here i don't have any more backups <laughs> poor outcast took an early demise great next l performed awesome now let's see what the old sledge this thing is uh you know proved itself pretty well um over last summer see how she does today since it is a little colder out oh all air your wheels nope well she got a little more air than i thought it was going to on that one i'm gonna stick a little close to the car here because i want to see if the battery i have in this thing is going to hold up or not oh boy uh i'm not keeping on our wheel am i what we're gonna do we're gonna try and get a shot the sledge hitting this jump from up here Hopefully I don't hit myself. Dude, the cars are usually supposed to go after Trevor, not me, but we'll see how this goes. Nice. <laughs> she flew real nice off of there. Sorry, Trevor. You know, we're not intentionally going for you, I promise, buddy. He was gonna maybe come down. We're gonna hopefully bust out the ramp sometime this week and uh, get some stuff with that. Because the ramp is always a blast. Oh, just <laughs> wow! That back end just caught the top of that jump. That was that was a, a sketchy landing. I didn't think it was going to land on its wheels after that one. But yeah, we're going to hopefully bust out the ramp sometime this week and set that up somewhere and give some good uh, some good sends with the ramp. See how that goes. Oh, nice. Cleared it beautifully that time. Man, the gears and the mesh and everything sounds so nice on this car. It's got that nice little light little whine, if you know what I mean. When everything just sounds perfect. Everything has been running great on this car. Been really happy with the sledge. I know you probably guys can't really see it too much coming down the home stretch. Oh, <laughs> right into the face. All right, let's go uh, get into some other stuff here. I want to go hit that jump over there, man. I love the monster jump, but it's just, it's such a mess over there. The landing is nothing but a giant soupy pool of mud. So I think we're going to head down this way and have a little fun. But before we do that, we're going to try and get a nice long run into this jump. I got to kind of thread the needle because there's only one good spot to get a run at this thing because the rest of it's so torn up with that. But we're going to see. Wow, man, yeah, she flew pretty good off of that one. We haven't had back there quite yet. I want to try this jump. <laughs> should have just let it backflip. That's been the word of the day. I should have let it backflip. <laughs> nice. Flies well, pretty decent off this jump. Don't expect much air, but it actually. Oh. Where'd you go? Well, we're back over here where I had the XL out. 
But I'm going to try a whole different line here because I can get a nice long run with this one. Let's see what we can do here. Hope we can get the sledge flying pretty good. Whoa! Ow. It just landed right in a ditch. I'm not feeling too good about this one, guys. If the sledge just survived that, it will be a complete miracle. And I gotta go out in this mud. This is the worst part of this track down here. Um, well, I'll bring you guys back once I get done dodging all the mud here. Well, it has left a nice dent in the other side here and this front bumper is so packed with mud in the front suspension. Um, uh, not looking too good for that A-arm. No. Oh, man. I broke the front A-arm. I know it came down there just full speed into that. Well, that was unfortunate. Of all the places to land, you know, you got all this out here. All this. And I got to land in a ditch. Well, this is probably going to turn into a multi-part video because I'm going to probably have to cut it off here and bring it back maybe tomorrow either here or somewhere else guys that is unfortunate guys the sledge was flying beautiful out here i don't think any car would have just taken that landing i mean you guys can see she's taking off from over there flying down and went full speed nose first into the ditch i think the a-arm's just broken but the front end's kind of sagging but it doesn't look like i didn't see anything broken with the shocks but I don't know. She's still jumping. Maybe we'll just keep jumping her a few more times. <laughs> Poor sledge. See if we can jump it this way. Yeah, that was just an unfortunate, unfortunate landing. She's not driving too straight. And then I gotta crash it right on that. <laughs> All right, the A-arm gave up. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's just the A-arm. Everything else looks okay from here. We'll get her back to the truck. What makes me upset is that it's all dirty and packed with mud for that. You're going to drive yourself back there, buddy. I ain't carrying you. Forget it. Well, guys, you know what I decided? You know, all the other cars may want to be quitters. However, the XL is still surviving. So we're going to finish this video out with the dirty XL. We're probably going to stick around here a little bit, have a little fun on this jump, because after ripping the sledge here off of this way, we're gonna see how the XL, we can get a good shot of it coming this way. It's a fun jump. I'm hoping you guys are seeing it okay this way. Holy, <laughs> oh my God. Man. The XL just flew off of that thing. Holy cow. You catch this perfect line, man, and this thing just launches absolutely love this car love it oh into the face i got to let it backflip off of here if i can get oh no oh no no what did i wow i broke the acronym arm i think is what it's called or i could be completely wrong um but yeah, the metal arm that goes in between the two steering links just snapped, guys. I thought a screw came out for a second. This is the only one. This has got the stock EXP. My other one, um, I've upgraded and put the M2C Racing one on there, which has held up a lot better. So it looks like I'm going to have to do the same thing to this one. Oh, I guess she must have been hanging on by a thread during its bash session. The only other thing that did break on today, I noticed, when I pulled the lid off, it was when my body post actually snapped off. But, uh, yeah, it looks like I got to take that thing out now. The motocross track has, uh, you know, proved itself today to be rough on the cars and muddy. But I'm going to have to get one of those arms. It's easy, easy enough fix, but I got to pull all the steering linkage out of it, change that thing out. I might even have one back at the house. I can't remember if I got an extra one. 
everything else is holding up great. Um, all the suspension, the shocks. Uh, this does have the MTC Racing Emulsion shock kit on it, and guys, the suspension is just phenomenal with that. And the chassis has been holding up great. Um, everything on these Crate and XL builds, guys. If you were looking to get one, <coughs> MTC Racing sells the whole entire kit, so you don't have to guess you know, what pieces you need. Um, they sell the whole Crate and XL kit, the beefcake kit for that. And you just take your existing Creighton or Italian or whatever and completely do the conversion on it. It has all the pieces in the kit. And uh, guys, I mean, they hold a body. The only thing you got to get at that point is either a longer body or I see now Basher Queen is selling an extension kit for the back that brings your body post out so you can use a stock body with it. I haven't got to try one yet. Um, I would like to, but I haven't got one yet um, to try out. But they do sell that, so you don't even have to go with a different body. You can stick with your stock body now, which is kind of cool. But, unfortunately, that's it. <laughs> the poor Creighton gave up now. Well, guys, sorry there's a little less bashing in this video. We had some uh, unfortunate breakages. The sledge decided to lawn dart into the side of the ditch, which broke an A-arm. I hope I have an A-arm for that. I don't know if I do. Um, in the Creighton XL broke the steering link and the outcast 8s got a broken a-arm i mean everything's pretty easy fixes nicely but the worst part is having to clean this mess up <laughs> everything's gonna be packed a lot of this is starting to dry and it's gonna be fun to clean up i'm gonna have a nice long clean session today or this evening but had a ton of fun out here it was awesome getting to come down to the motocross track again today and finally get a bash in and i had a ton of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it but that is going to do it so until next time y'all be safe be careful out there peace out everybody